this is, uh, this is just, uh, uh, you know, I call people like some of the books, some of the books on a table, uh, I don't call them books, I call them bullets, like the answer book, or there's one we, that, where you deal with Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, and, that, and, uh, and, and we got one that you deal with Mormons, and someday we'll have one where you deal with Andersonites, but um, uh, I call those bullets because you guys know what to do with the bullet. You put it in your weapon and you do one of two things. You defend yourself or go hunting. I, I told him Sunday, I've never heard anybody yet that says, I, you know, they, they teach exactly what replacement theology people teach. Uh, I think that God is done with Israel. I think we're the replacement for Israel. Boy, if he, if, uh, if Steve Anderson takes those statements right there, he's really going to make a good video, isn't he? Uh, this, this, uh, Anderson, he has got a kindred spirit with Muslims. He hates the Jews. And here's what Paul said. He said, verse 3, I for could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So he's talking about the very people that Anderson says God has nothing to do with anymore. So Anderson hates them. And Paul says, I would willing to turn in my salvation and go to hell if they would get saved. And you have to decide, and you people who are watching this, uh, that are following, you got to decide who are you going to follow, the Bible or Steve Anderson? Because the spirit he has is not the same spirit that the Apostle Paul had. We, Bible believers, whenever we believe something uh, or want to accomplish something, we go here to the Bible, right? Whenever they want to accomplish something, they go to a video. I was talking to the guys last night after service. I said, you know, uh, uh, Arizona is about two times zone earlier than us, and we're, out here, we're eating after service. And I said, don't you know a lot of editing and cutting going on in Arizona tonight? <laughs> but every one of those guys, they are experts in doing something with a video. And so, uh, so I'm talking to McMurtry, and, I, and I, you know, I tried to use as many single syllable words as I could. And so, uh, so I get done, and I said, um, and, and, and that's when he went to this thing I told you, I showed the Old Testament um, verses on God restoring Israel, and he says, that's us. I said, so you're telling me that everything God promised Israel in the Old Testament was actually for another dispensation. And you know, he, he probably doesn't even eat with a fork. I know he doesn't, because I know if he had, I'd see four holes in the side of his face when he tried to eat. Uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. I would like to hear those words come out of Anderson's mouth, except I did. He'd do it only because he just picked this video up, and I know he didn't mean it. I'll look at chapter 11. <clears throat> Chapter 11, <laughs> he says this. <clears throat> That's not what he says. I say then, hath God cast away his people? Now think about that. Isn't that what Anderson says? I say then, hath God cast away his people? God forbid. For I am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin, God hath not cast away his people whom he, uh, which he foreknew. What ye not, what the scripture saith of, Isaiah, uh, of Elias, how he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars. I am left alone and they seek my life. So the apostle Paul says, I would be willing to go to hell for Israel. I hope all Israel gets saved. And surely God has not cast away his people. Do you understand that with what I, I could stop now? And if, if the Anderson people really believe the Bible, they couldn't listen to another word the guy says. The Bible always overthrows uh, a little cheap dictator. By the way, look up uh, on the sheet right under there, under Romans chapter 10, verses uh, 1 through 3. Uh, and I put in red my comments. Landerson uh, has more of a burden for, for uh, Israel hating Muslims than he does for the people of Israel. And he does, he comes down in here. I was here in this church a month ago and they were carrying on some kind of a thing down in Detroit or something and, and he wears the Palestinian flag on his, where he'd like to have a chest. And, um, 
uh, and, and says free Palestine. Um, they, hate, they hate the Jews. Um, and they put the note in there. Is Anderson from the house of Israel or Judah? So that's just, you say, well, we're Jews. What do you do about Judah? He says, we're, we're Israel. Then who's Judah? In fact, I, I'm trying to figure out what tribe they are. Uh, verse 14, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will perform that good thing which I have promised unto the house of Israel and to the house of Judah. I ask in the is Anderson from the house of Israel or Judah. When these guys say we're Israel, then tell me who's Judah. I'd like to know who Judah is because if, he's, if we're Israel, someone is Judah. May, I don't know if they're coming from out of space or what, but uh, somebody is out there that's Judah. Verse 24, considereth uh, thou not what this people have spoken, saying the two families which the Lord hath chosen uh, shall even be cast off. Thus they have despised my people. That is a prophetic reference to Steve Anderson. He said, somebody's going to say, my people are cast off and they despise my people. I am telling you that every follower of Stephen Anderson despises Israel. That is not, that spirit of, of hatred, they did not get that from, they did not get that from this God. They got that from the God of the world. 